Yeah. What were you talking about? Uh, talking about the, um, well, she refers to you as Sophia Franklin, but um, <laughs> she was asking me what my next moves are. And I was like, well, we're all, let's get, let's have a gap. Talking to Spotify. Spotify. <laughs> Spotify. <laughs> talking to Spotify. Are we rolling, Marty? Yeah. Uh, out and about, Brianna Chicken Fry, Grace O'Malley, two tier one queens. Stand before Woo! us. What Stand the before fuck us. Does that what mean? does that mean, my guys? Well, the thing is, yeah. that, that's the thing is, if, unless you're if only tier two and tier three know what the tiers are, because if you're tier one, you're like a rich person, like, oh, what is that? Well, let me explain. So we got an email from the manager, the studio manager here, who's apparently our boss, um, who said that we're tier two. And there are certain tier ones, you know, you guys, Chicklets, Foreplay. And priority. Priority. Yeah. Priority studio. But you guys have your own studio. Oh, yes. Yeah. Upstairs. So, oh, we're tier one. Got, you're tier one. Oh, yeah. 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 That's, That's what that I means. get what you're yes. talking okay. about. You're tier one. Um, and look, you know what? It doesn't matter. Oh, do you it know we threw a party in our tier one studio last night? Tico, Tico Texas. Texas. Yeah, absolute. Mm -hmm. With prolific. Mm -hmm. and whoever she just that may be. <laughs> prolific. She just posts it on her story at nine o'clock at night. I'm like, Tico. Oh my come God. On. Well, I, we were, I was just, that's before I got, I got yelled at. I was just going to ask if you girls are out, of, are out of town, can I Airbnb that? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. To my yes. nutrition myself. I was yes. living there for a quick yeah. minute. I mean, we'll, we'll cover up all the signs. We'll put like sheets up. Like, um, well, you're gonna turn into or a glory plastic. hole. Yeah, is yeah. what it was gonna be. Come by my glory hole. It's the Plan Bree set. Oh, There's a sheet. And you can come out of the jukebox. Exactly. Yeah. It's like '50s theme. It must make you feel like a kid again. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Um, talk Back to me in yesterday, my teen years. Talk to me about your hair, Bree. <laughs> the world wants oh, to know. Pink. Your I pink? think this is the first time. Yeah, I've even shown it. I got pink hair yesterday. It looks incredible. Is that the blowout from yesterday? <laughs> yeah. You, it, your hair always looks fire. It's like it's more <laughs> healthy now that I dyed it pink. Because yeah. it filled, yeah. it fills it, yeah. It filled it mm -hmm. exactly. Now, so how did you? What other colors were up for auction? Mm, just pink. I knew. Pink. Yes, pink like my pussy. Magenta. And I told you. <laughs> I, was saying, I was. I was hanging out with one of my peers, um, <laughs> Erica Ayers, and I were sitting there having a little grab fest over there. Oh yeah. And we could both said, "Oh my god, it's Gem and the Holograms." And the the the, the two <laughs> tier one queens looked at us like we had ten, ten heads. What were you and Erica talking about? Yes. I don't like when you two get together. And I, she goes, "He's with Erica." I go, "Not on my watch. He's not." <laughs> yeah. What were you talking about? Uh, talking about the, um, well, she refers to you as Sophia Franklin, but um, <laughs> she was asking me what my next moves are. And I was like, well, we're all, let's get, let's have a gap been talking to Spotify. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Talking to Spotify. A new she's network, a new color. <laughs> she's leaving. We're both leaving to go to Spotify. She's going to be the new she over there. Okay. Oh, cool. And I'm her ingenue. <laughs> um, no, we were talking about working She's Miss Abby and you're Jojo Siwa. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, she's Jojo Siwa. She didn't like. She hated Jojo Siwa. Oh, you're Maddie well, Ziegler. I'm Maddie Ziegler. You're Maddie oh, yes. Ziegler. Maddie in this. Um, no, we're talking talk. about <laughs> we're talking about Working Girls. It's a new show that I'll tell you about in a second. Yeah. But she said she had a great idea. She goes, "Why don't you you take my job for the day, and sit in the office and like have make meetings with Penn and like and like reprimand people and do like reviews." Oh no! I, Are you running the company meeting? Yeah. I would Brandy like one to just put it on our calendars. I know that's huh? a little nerve wracking. Fire, when we get a fire, company fire. meeting. I would like to call a lie detector test on her giving that idea to you. She just everyone heard it. <laughs> oh really? Well, um, just her and Daniela. Oh, okay. well, I think that would be a great idea, Erica. Um, we got, need to have on the show. Um, how is Plan Brie Uncut going? What's the What's the tea, sis? Mm. We're oh, kind of killing it. Yeah, we're killing it. Yeah. I just got out of rehab. <laughs> Yes, um, Grace did just get out of the psych ward. Psych ward. Was yes. it a psych ward or rehab? Yeah, what happened? I can't a little remember. bit of both. <laughs> yeah, I was blown. Was everyone. it free? Free for me. Top tier. So one. I know, tier, so tier one. <laughs> so rehab tier comes two. with a tier one. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Rehab. Your mental health is on the absolute decline if you're tier one. Yeah. Are you allowed? Are you like comfortable to talk about it? I'm sure you talked about it on Plan B, but you yeah. uh, you had like a. You go listen to the full story, obviously, but you had a breakdown and you just kind of like checked yourself in. You're like, I need a break from life kind of deal or what yeah, happened? Yeah, I mean, it was a long time coming. I I, I had just kept doing that. And uh, Micaiah, gave, Micaiah gave her over here, Pinky Dinky Doo, she would uh, I finally me back to like, life mm, every time. It's time yeah. to let's take care of this. <laughs> yeah. She would just be sleeping on my couch and usually like it would get better. But then this one didn't feel like it was getting better. So mm -hmm. I called her mom. She didn't seem like she was leaving. Yes. I was <laughs> like, okay. It was <laughs> strictly for selfish reasons. Like, you still have your before. apartment? Do you still have your apartment ah uh, yes you just didn't want it. you wanted to be close to someone that you know no, like, I, gr no. I got her i she went came to and her got me. apartment and physically grabbed her what was the drag what was the mind. thing that made you do that to she, take a step i just knew she was in her dark scary room and yeah. she i just knew if she stayed in that room it was just gonna get worse and worse so i was like i'll bring her to me were these hangover white room were these hangovers <laughs> that were lasting longer and then you said fuck it you just cut the party going instead of instead of like so oh, yeah. instead of like you know you just start drinking cracking a claw I was a, a, taking a never pill. a claw, high noon, my high man. Noon. Oh, high noon, that's Come what I on mean. now. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but you just keep the party going. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So you could so it's a party hard ending, rock and roll. Nender, never, never ending hangover. <laughs> I do the same, but I get in these depressions and I, after like a wild bender, um, especially I noticed, I don't know if this happens with you girls after an appearance or something when you get to really, and everyone's like, or a tour or a show and everyone's like, you're getting your picture taken constantly. And like, you have to be on at every five fucking minutes and be like mm-hmm. crazy on. I shut down completely oh my for God, the next yeah. couple of days. And that on top of the drinking, like I go into hibernation cause I don't want anyone to see me. It's like, not that, not that I'm like fucking Je- Jennifer uh, Lopez or, or whatever, <laughs> but it's just like, just, it's exhausting. It's like an adrenaline to, crash. To be, it's an adrenaline crash going from like this, like this big high of like, like everyone being involved and having to be on 24 seven. Yeah. And then to nothing. And then the drug hangovers and everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, I'll sleep in my room for a week and they have to peel me out of my bed. Yeah. Yeah. It's a trifecta. Yeah. So it's basically just you were hung over and not taking care of yourself. And like you needed a mental health break essentially to get yourself checked out. But yeah, severe. But here's the thing. I have so I'm I've been writing jokes. I'm getting back into stand up. And yeah. my whole set is the. Um, so you need this a good, car- good yeah. thing for the career. No, it this was is really perfect. just market research for yeah. jokes. Yeah. <laughs> we were saying that if I, 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 um, I should probably try to get AIDS because that would be such oh, a good right. material. Yeah, right. right. You know what I mean? And it's just having a big resurgence things now. He's mm-hmm. been chasing a pause load for many years now. Okay. Yeah. Joey, mm-hmm. believe it or not. Mm-hmm. And it's like now it's treatable. So it's like it something. Yet. It's something that you can really advance my career. It's what, obtainable. What mm-hmm. was the facility like? Like what was the check in like? Did you like <laughs> was it in New York? It, it was no. I I, did, I was scared to go in New York. Yeah. I went. I went to where my daddy went. <laughs> Where? Oh, yeah, he his alma mater. She's a legacy. Yeah, I love the legacy. Yes. So that's why um, I got to go for free. I had a, a free ride. Queen, so they knew where she walked in. in. Oh, Miss O'Malley? Was it in yeah. Franklin, Mass? Um, it was um in Beverly. <laughs> Hills, uh, yeah. Beverly Mass. <laughs> uh, <laughs> similar. Now they got any Hills here. Like, oh, quite gender. No, 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 no. River. Wait, I want to hear what it was like. Like, what was it like when you walked in, and like, um, what was so the situ- what was the whole process? The only way to get her? there. No, her mom came and picked her up. Yeah, my yeah. mom came to pick me up with my sister. And the, here's the, here's the funny thing. So, like, when you're on your way to go check yourself in, it, we're just sitting there in silence. Me, my mom, and my sister, and um, we're just sitting there in silence. And my sister's like. Maybe we could put like the radio on or something. So she puts the radio on and it's like a song and it's like, sometimes it's just not very fun having fun when you don't want to have fun. And I'm like, why would you put that on? <laughs> oh my God. And so then like, she's just going through all the songs and I'm trying to write a, a joke like where like, what do you listen to on the way to the mental hospital? Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised you like, that's a lot to like take that step to go there. And then like you're in there and it's like, okay, you're just doing intake and it's like, they check your vitals and they make sure. No, you just they color. Ask you, you just color. You just color. You were in. Did you leave? <laughs> Suicide Watch 24 seven. Did you leave? Volu- they're like, okay, you need to be here for seven days. After that, you can leave voluntarily. Or was there like an option? They wanted your me treatment? to stay till they wanted me to stay for three to four weeks. Okay. And I was like, nah. And um, as soon as I found out that there wasn't a therapist there, I was like, I'd like to leave now. And then they told me I had COVID and I said, I would. I'm definitely leaving. Yeah. Oh, you had COVID too. I have this question. Now with the place you went, like before you going to a facility place, is there different treatment centers for different specific things? Like say I'm addicted to this and this. Um, and I'm also depressed because of that is it, is it drug, is it drug and alcohol and mental health all in one house? Or is it like, do you have to like specify what's wrong with you? You have to really hone in on if like, you really want to like go sober or if you want to. So fix which your one was yours? Health. Yours was for exhaustion. Mental health. So this is mental. This wasn't drug and alcohol related. No. So you're still doing but drugs they go and hand alcohol. In hand. It's just your mental health is better. Well, when I got there, I was like, I'm this, this and that. I'm a functioning alcoholic. I do coke all the time. Blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. They're like, you are very self-aware. I'm like, yeah, yeah. can you help? They were <laughs> sober, they reward, dear. Look yeah. it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they they just reward. asked her. What, they were oh. like, what? So what pills do you want? And I was like, I don't even know what pills. Yeah. And then I was, and then Did they told me Altrex? I was going to be there for four weeks. I'm like, I'll try Xanax. <laughs> they yeah, offered they, Xanax? Yeah, they, they offered me whatever I wanted. It was a souffle. Honey, they you were at it. a crack house. That wasn't, <laughs> that wasn't <laughs> three hours <laughs> Kathy's. <laughs> honey, that was, honey, that was Bree's on. <laughs> Believe it or not. That's so crazy that you go in and you tell them you have these issues and they're like, well, here's some more pills to just kind of fix it. Away. That's up. Biden's yeah. America. But, but, our, but welcome to, welcome to Biden's America. <laughs> but our sweet, sweet Grace is out now and she's doing well. Yes. But you still have thriving. COVID though. What do you say? You, but you still have COVID. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I mean, well, hack it away. Yes. What were you going to say, Brie? She's thriving now. She's thriving. Because that was the first time that she admitted something was wrong. Yeah. Like, it was, it was like, that's why I was, you need to go somewhere. Because she was finally like, okay, you're right. Maybe I am going fucking crazy. But you knew, like, you could see it. I knew. I tried to convince her before, but you can't convince someone that doesn't want to hear it. Right. You know? 
So it was finally like, oh, yes, Grace, she's listening. <laughs> now, it when was are, good. When are you going to convince her that something's wrong? <laughs> yes. Well, yes. That's, <laughs> that's not going to happen. No, no, no. We just let her dye her hair. Uh -huh. And then. This is the first time I dyed my hair without going through a breakup. Well, that's that's the equivalent of or dyeing your hair. That's in, in, in the gay world, uh, bleaching your hair, um, shaving your head, or getting a tattoo is the equivalent of cutting. Yes. So, so yes. You're, you're, you're covering up something here yes. with that hairdo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I cut the back. It's of emotional neck. cutting. Now, now, Grace, did you have to pay out of pocket or insurance covers this? Somehow? Insurance covers it mostly. Just so you a little bit of money. Yeah. If you save the three weeks, so it's, it's basically it's a free apartment. Yeah. I yeah. mean, it's uh, except you got some crazy roommates. Did you have roommates? Oh yeah. Oh, who did you meet? Anyone fun? Um, not so much. <laughs> um, I kind of just sat back and uh, did they really want you to talk to others? Yeah. And I, I was just anti talking to others. I just kind of did my What own was thing. lights out like for you? Oh, every five minutes they're checking in. Really? <laughs> yep. Oh, you know what the worst fucking part is? So every shitting in front of someone else. <sighs> it was fucking awful. Yeah. You had to do that? So uh -huh. I I was in they, they give you five oh, minutes really? to go to the bathroom. You've never been? And then I, <laughs> I'm a long shitter. So I'm sitting at five minutes goes up. It's they think you're freebasing in there. They, they think I'm I'm going crazy. And she's talking about the length of the stool, not the, not the time. <laughs> and they they knock and they go, we have to come in. And I said, no, you don't. I'm taking a shit. And they go, yeah, we have to come in. And they came in. I go, yeah, happy. I was so fucking mad. Uh, and then I and then I was like, oh, I'm crazy because then the rest of the night I just kept fucking staring at the person. They also said, where's all the hand sanitizer? And Grace had a coffee filter and she was making her own her moonshine. Oh, she was making, she was she was making a hoot. In the thing, snorting her pills. Yeah. So, I would put them under my tongue. Just... Have... <laughs> so how's it going to work this spring? Because you're not doing a college tour. You guys are doing uh -huh. other things. Mm -hmm. What's that like? You why are you not doing the college tour? Uh, we feel fucking old. Yeah, it's Washed tough. Kind of. It's like, oh my god, we're like, she's 24. I'm going to be 24 in June. These girls are like 18. Same. Uh, <laughs> But it's like we feel creepy almost. It's like yeah. it's like I don't know. We're still gonna do a live. Show I'm dating tour. a 23 year old. I should feel creepy. Well, you're a creep. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, you're a pervert. <laughs> you're right. You're, as you were. You were yeah, saying. <laughs> uh, you feel old. I feel like as a 24 year old, that's not. But I guess 24 to 18 seems like a larger a gap big, when yeah. you're 24 than it actually yeah. is. Maybe we don't. It's not even that. We feel like I, we I at least feel like all. I have to get blacked out to do it, and then yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go end up where Grace was. But you're doing, you guys are doing club appearances all over, right? Yeah. And so like, how's that, how's that going? Like, how's that come about? They just basically hit you up and they're like, come here and drink. You're mm -hmm. like, yes, Grace is like, here we go again. <laughs> Down the thing. And then that's, and then that's like the cycle. Yeah. Um, they just ask us to come do these appearances, but it's different than regular club appearances. Like, mm -hmm. like. Vinny from the Jersey Shore probably just gets to go and sit at the booth. We yeah, have to go jump around. That's the that's oh, the thing with no. us. Like they expect us to put on a show. They're like they think we're DJs and have these Performers. bits. Yeah, and yeah. we're like, what are the fucks? We have to go up and like rap to the crowd. <laughs> yeah, what do you say on the you mic? Do that? It's you ready you to get fucking wrecked tonight? Let me yes. hear y'all. I'm like, I always forget where I am. I'm like, where the fuck are we? Let's have some fun. Like, who has an ex? They hate. Ah, oh, fuck them. It's and it was just so embarrassing. Is it while music's it's, playing, when you're yeah. up there, okay. it's just so embarrassing it's like what are we doing and, yeah. then, and then I see some dudes in the crowd and they're like I the only look at the doing? front row I only look at the front row and I'm like if I look back there I will slip my the wrist dudes, the dudes are like <laughs> yeah. this is so fucking stupid yeah. it's like, what are these on their face? isn't it mortifying though oh, yeah. mortifying. Like, for the next day like I've, I, I've done that before like after like a live show will do like club appearances and like do like announce the crowd or get in the DJ booth and be like <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, your ear to the and then going. watching your tagged videos oh my like, god oh my god you want to die He's done. Humiliated. we'll like switch off like we were in and that happened to you when we were in Boston you were like a shell of yourself oh yeah after yeah. the show but Jess Kirsten who's a comedian so she gets the same thing obviously on jumping around on stage mm -hmm. like and she does it a lot looking at all these people and she does it a lot. Yeah. But it's great. What's it's like kind of like the, I'm sorry to bother you, uh, interrupt. <laughs> you know, the next day when you're hung over, <laughs> it's the same thing that people can relate to is like when you're, when you know, you're really were fucking drunk or you were on, or you were talking at someone's ear off. Mm -hmm. Um, you, the next day you put the covers over your head and you're like, Oh my God, what the fuck? What, who did I say this to? Yeah. What did I do? Did yeah. I fucking look dumb? Did I say something stupid? Was I, was I like the chewing the fucking bouncer's ear off on Coke? Like, mm -hmm. like what did I do? <laughs> and then for us, all of us, that times 10, cause there's cameras yes. and, and everyone's you're on a there stage watching. with a microphone. Yeah. It's even fucking worse. Yeah. yeah. What's, I'd rather do a live show. Yeah, so that's what we're doing in the fall. We're going to do like fun. a live show tour and then do after. You feel like you after. accomplished. Yes, yeah, that's what we yeah. do. It's yeah. the best. Yeah. You get so you do. It's calm. It's calm, somewhat calm. 
you know, fans can be wild. They'll still scream, but you can kind of get uh, some kind of normalcy and some structure to it. Yes. And then, you know, you can turn up at the back and then at the, at the after party, you can really just do what you want to do and just sit in the booth. But and I, don't even want, I don't even want to have an after party. Like Why? after parties for me are like, that's just more work. That's how you have I to know. sell it, honey. I it's only like tier it. one. That's, the, that's, how, that's how you <laughs> that's get to tier, tier one. one. Yes. That's it. Like Joey's like, Joey yeah, wants you have the after party to, more you have the to. show. That's why people come out. People don't want to sit there. That's like going to church and, or a wedding. You, you, that's like the show is like on, they're going oh, to a yeah. church and they're waiting for the reception. That's, yeah. the, that's like the whole that. point of these live shows. No one wants yeah. to sit there. They can listen to them on their couch. I know. Well, I mean, they do they pay want tickets to, have a, to go like, to the live show, so they kind of do want to be there a little. Well, yeah, but it's mostly about the after party. They want to party with you and have fun. It's like the same thing. It's a wedding or the church. No, funeral. A funeral. I'm sitting through a funeral all day. Like, when are we going to the after party? Yeah. That's what everyone's there for. Do you guys plan your parties around? like what colleges you want to be near kind of deal kind of well we figured out what schools we have a fan base at and what ones we don't okay. like when we went to the west coast oh, yeah. oh it was brutal like was we, we did we did one in boulder and we had like this theater and there was like maybe like 75 people there but it was and you gave your blood sweat and tears quite literally I cu- oh I still have a scar I did almost get surgery after I fucking popped a bottle of champagne and cut my hand open and my blood was pouring in this girl's was mouth and she was like, like ah! <laughs> it was crazy it was, it was like a theater so we were like on stage it was so brutal so then we but it wasn't it wasn't a live show you weren't doing a podcast you were no just, it was like a drinking. jump around and it was this was before we figured out we need a good DJ we used to just go and do college DJs and they would be so bad they'd be playing their own SoundCloud remixes and we'd be on stage trying to hype the crowd up and we're like this yeah. is so brutal it is crazy like you guys really do Ooh. put on a show like i'll see you you're on stage like you're jumping around like going nuts what's the number one party school you guys have been to crown the number one party school in america penn state will always hold a oh, special place fuck. because it was number one it was the first one i came as just a happy-go-lucky pal and she crowd surfed and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? That was a culture shock. I was it like, was what are, why do these people care? And yeah. It was so weird. But top three, Penn State, LSU and OSU. I, what's, I, went, to, yes. I went to LSU. LSU yeah. was fucking sick. You went to LSU? Yeah, yeah. Is that Oklahoma did it at State Fred? University? Yeah. It met the best bar in the best entire world. Bar in the really world. is. Yeah, and really. the guy that owns it's like this cool surfer dude. Yeah, he's the man. He's what's the like man. you're cool so much drugs. LSU. He's beef with your boyfriend. What's the name of the bar is called LSU? Fred's. Friends. Friends, yes. Friends. Friends, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys should go do some NASCAR shit there. We should. <laughs> but, so uh, why uh, is everyone jumping on the NASCAR train? I want to know. Is there money? No. <laughs> they just asked me to go. <laughs> for us. It's a trip. We're going to Daytona Beach and staying in a really nice hotel. Yeah. And uh, we're, I, don't know, I have no idea. I, I have no idea what we're doing there. I smoked mm-hmm. crack no in Daytona Beach for the first time. I'm what? sorry? In, in the last time. Honey. Mm-hmm. You smoked <laughs> crack? crack. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. the, I told you that. I didn't believe no, that you smoked crack. I said I'm doing meth when I get there. Tell yeah. us a story of how you smoked crack, my mm-hmm. dear. So I went on my first <laughs> spring break. This, this was her bat mitzvah. Yes, this okay. was her bat mitzvah. Um, we went to Daytona Beach. We drove from Ohio in my car. It was like 26 hours. We drove there. We get there. We're staying in um, like a, a motel. So there's Ooh, like- there's, Perfect place to smoke crack. It was perfect. <laughs> there was like four of us in there. The door didn't lock. So people would just open our door and come in. It was fucking crazy. And we went to this club. And this was before, like I, I was like 18. And we- got behind the DJ booth first time ever. So I'm like, oh, this is <laughs> it. I'm like, little do you know, you're going to fucking hate this in just a couple of years. But this crazy lady like was like, come out to my car. And we're like, okay, let's go. Let's that go. lady was Joey. Yes. <laughs> yeah. She, then, oh she fucking, she sprinkled, she sprinkled cocaine in our blunt and then we yeah. smoked it. And I was like, oh, I'm smoking It's called crack. a woo, dear. Oh, a woo? Yeah. yeah. Woo. Did you feel a little woo? Oh, I feel woo. My friend passed out in the pizza shop, threw up everywhere. Yeah. Passed really? out from a crack? She, yeah, she threw Does up crack everywhere. Make you up? I smoked crack once on a Rooftop. I was up. I was having fun. Yeah, and I was like, I could smoke crack again. <laughs> I, w- I fucking love crack. No, honestly, I, I smoke crack, crack before, crack. Crack. and it's not as bad as this. I mean, if you're addicted to crack, yeah, but smoking it for like one night, it's not as bad as you think. Like, a, like a, a fat line. Is, kid. A fat line was more intense than 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 doing a little bit of crack. Yeah, smoking accidental crack. smoking crack was it was okay. It just but I've never smoked. Again. I've only smoked crack. But I didn't smoke it out of a crack pipe. Oh, I did. Oh, so you're you're classy, my dear. I was. It was classy. <laughs> it was tier one crack. Now, I'm a purist. I'm a purist. <laughs> now, I've been a purist for many years. It's cl- it's only bad if you smoke it out of a crack pipe but if you don't smoke it out of a crack pipe it's a fair game then it's fun it's classy but also yes. it's like I don't think it was that I mean I'm not condoning doing crack but I'm saying if you're gonna do it it's not as bad as they're showing you it is, <laughs> is that, like I was fine is that the clip <laughs> crack is not as bad we just yes. cut it together crack. so we're advocating for we're it. It with the pod crack now, is in fact like, not whack yeah crack is whack but um, shitty coke from Murray Hill is a lot whacker <laughs> we were gonna do uh, watch sh- that's relatable we were talking about um 
about going to Daytona and Joey sends me the photo of the hotel we're staying at and he writes back in, in all, all caps. caps I'm smoking meth bitch I'm like so excited about this we're gonna do Daytona fully and anytime I go to a place like this going into Vegas um, the second I land I start chain smoking 100 cigarettes like like mm. uh, 100s yeah. probably like 100 all the college tours we chain smoke cigarettes yeah. you oh, have yeah. to especially like, in the south it's like a vibe <laughs> The, are you guys going to try and get off the jewel? You're both no. Jewel. You know, I love it. Absolutely not. They asked us. They asked us yeah. for like through work to do an uh, like an ad for them with the no, quitting, like a whole campaign one, to quit. A campaign to yeah. quit. And we for, said, your, for your show? Yeah. We said, no, we'll do anything but that. Just yeah. simply, I just simply can't. When we were in the office in like 2018, the other office, Marlboro came in for an ad oh, and, and, and they were handing Isn't out illegal? cool, uh, like Marlboro blue cigarettes to everyone. Ooh. And I was like, this is kind of weird. Like They're like, no cigarettes. Oh, I love cigarettes. I was like, this is kind of weird. They're blue. giving everyone in the office cigarettes. Marty likes That's fucking cigarettes too. That's crazy if yeah. you think yeah, about yeah, it. It's we smoked insane. It a, we smoked today. Uh, we were at a casino one night and we smoked, uh, we were at the uh-huh. slot machine smoking cigarettes. We lied until we were going to the bathroom and we were chain smoking. Yeah. My mother got mad at me. Yeah. Oh, work trips? You get to know these motherfuckers. Oh, that's yeah. the thing. And it brings out the worst in these motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. There are some people I can't even look at when I go out this door anymore. Just I'm Mancini. Like, I've, <laughs> and I was a good buddy. But there's, good a, there's a couple other ones where I'm like, I know what you fucking did. Yeah. And I know yeah. what you did with your balls. Who's your... <laughs> Do you know weird. ball tricks are a thing? Yeah, what I know. Do you know ball tricks are a thing? What? Okay, so Bay, my, my Bay the other day was like, his friend emailed texting him. He's like, ha oh, fucking sick. I was like, what? He goes, my friend just came with the sickest ball trick. I was like, what are you talking about ball trick? He's like, you know, ball tricks, like all, like every college kid has a ball trick to pull out. Like he said, when he was in a frat, they'd have to like be bored and entertain the people during their dinners. And they would just come up with ball tricks. They'd look what they could do. And they would like pull it out. He'd pull his nut sack like this, put a popcorn in it and go pop and catch it in his mouth. And like, oh and they just, they, people are doing ball tricks all over the place. Oh, your, your base sounds straight. Remember, remember, remember <laughs> puppetry, of, remember uh, the puppetry of the penis. Remember that yeah. HBO? Right, right after the vagina monologue. I was just pissed because I could never do the, the wristwatch because my dick wasn't big enough. <laughs> the wristwatch where you put. <laughs> no, she had a thing. thick. She has a thick <laughs> pre-diabetic wrist, Mama. She <laughs> now she's had sodium today. It's thick. <laughs> yes. Um, who's in your guys' crew? Like for when you go on tour. Uh, we have Hannah and Gia. Yeah, and our, our pal we Josh outsourced, comes around. We outsourced uh, like a videographer. He's he's awesome. He's a beast. We figured you, out we've had to do that because we've what gone do, through quite a few. Here. What do you like? Ha- why do you go through them? What happens? They just We're party too cunts. much. Grace fucks them and then it gets awkward. <laughs> yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. they catch the disease. <laughs> <laughs> they, yes. Yes. No. I'm like a hot dog hallway. Yeah. <laughs> the first ones used to. She said that on our pod too. <laughs> You said that in a text that. yesterday. Yeah. She just loves that saying. Loose pussy. Um, the first, what happened to the first fuck. one? Uh, our first one was partying too much and trying to like fuck the college girls. And we were like, mm, this yeah. like simply, we can't do this. Yeah. We were on spring break for two weeks and we got like a 20 minute vlog out of it. And it was like, <laughs> like two oh, weeks. Yeah. And, we, 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 put, and we were putting our heart and, and souls into, into it. it. Like, like we I should have checked myself fully, in it after that one. Yeah. Oh, the videographer? Yeah. Oh no. I yeah. think I know who it is. Yeah. yeah so that's yeah. why it ended. Like he used to be good, but now we have someone that's like really good and we're like, oh fuck. And that's Josh, Josh Gallo. Josh, yeah. Josh Gallo. Do we know Josh Gallo? If no, you ever need good, I just put everyone. If you never need good videos or sexy Josh, pictures, um, what's the get him. What's the guy's Richards? Richard. No, who's the guy that like <laughs> Terry Richards? No, Josh, the Jamal. TikToker. What's the famous Richards? TikTok? Richards. Oh, yeah, Josh Richards. That's yeah. The thing. <laughs> Do you think he's hot? Um, I think he's good. I think he's very good looking, very he's European your modely age. looking. Mm-hmm. Very cute. Mm-hmm. You know, I like. I much remember. I think Bryce Hall's cuter for me. Ooh. Okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Something about his face. Mm. Oh, can we talk about uh, Noah Beck? She's why doing does music? Everyone, why does everyone think that he's gay? Because he is. <laughs> Bree? <laughs> everyone, everyone does think that he's gay. But it's fine. My gaydar is going it's all okay the way. It's okay if he is. It's like I think it's, he has the same thing as every every star, um, leading man in Hollywood had growing up. Like Tom Cruise still can't even come out of the closet. Yeah. But I think John he Travolta. Baits it. Have like, you seen he bo- he baits it? Like he'll hang out with gay guys and like they'll be super touchy now it's and more, feely. It's more, it's, it's more like you know. So like I think he feeds easy off. Easy of for it. It to be to be gay. It's more acceptable. So it's like you know at the same time it's like you know the. When you get to Hollywood, the guy tells you, "No, you ruin your fucking career, son. Don't fucking do it." <laughs> yeah, because you know you, you see what happens. But with you, it. you think so he like, actually no. baits it, or you think there's like some truth to it? He play I, he plays into it he for sure. It for which sure. that's why I'm like, if you're not gay, it's kind of fucked up. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think he's like he's always hanging everyone's out with, a little fluid. He's yeah, I, I with, think uh, I want him to be gay. It doesn't have to get gay, but like if you wanted to have sex with a man or like or kiss a guy or something, it's no one's business. And it's like everyone needs to relax. It's it's 2029. So like everyone relax. It's I like, also <laughs> think everyone's a little gay. Yeah. I would say to my boyfriend, I'm like, are you gay? Well, are you, gay? Well, well, you did wish. make that suspicious comment that one time. Oh, he said Molly makes you gay. Joey? And he's done Molly quite 
a few times. He She's goes, like, every time you do Molly, you get a little gayer. Can I get a delivery over to Brianna Chicken Fries, please, please? <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean by that? <laughs> can I ask another TikTok related question? Mm -hmm. What do we all think of the big dick in the room? Who? Pardon? Uh, uh, Nikita Dragons, big cock. Her cock came what out? What are you talking about? She don't hear? No, she don't hear. She promote. She came, came out of the. She came out of the hiding after the Good Times Hotel scandal. Yeah, she came out of hiding to, with a video, and she announced her OnlyFans. She goes, "I have. I'm a chick with a dick, and I will be showing it live." So she's showing her cock all, and she posts this oh. video of her with her dick out, like her, like in her big bulge in her pants, and like. Did you see the dog? No, I didn't the subscribe. Dick? It's twenty three ninety nine. Oh god, that's oh, far too much. Well, that's full dick. So that's well, that's, that's worth it. I bought Tommy's OnlyFans for fifty dollars, so and then I. he brought it down to ten. You bought Tommy's Why? Only he would have shown me you the video. Me and Mancini were high as fuck, and we're like, we got it. I bought it too, this. only because I took all the photos. Yeah, mm -hmm. I really did. Well, I wanted to see him kissing Tico. Yeah. Wait, he posts other things. I don't think he does. Anymore. I think he does. Imagine stuff. Tommy's OnlyFans is him just. Fucking! That'd be, I could totally oh, see. I wonder how much he's gonna make. Uh, I'm sorry. I wonder how much uh, Nikita Dragon's going to make. Has to be a lot. Millions. Do you think that that you means, still, we're still waiting for you to do it? You'd make millions too. Do you think that that's like final? What about straw? me? Do you think that's like? <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, like, do you think that's like? Oh, I'm. I fell off. I need to make an OnlyFans. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. That's why I'm doing full, it. Full frontal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's they why we actively we actively promote. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking to Kia Dragon though. I think I think it's a, I think I think it's a good resurfacing weekly resurfacing <laughs> for her because she felt she like kind of went into hiding after her scandal and they put her in the men's prison and all this all this drop so they did lost. you don't remember this <laughs> they put her in the men's prison you don't know about this story she like lied about that though. Oh, she lied about it? Yeah, they were like, no, you were in a holding cell and we didn't even put you in a fucking <laughs> oh. unit. But she said that. She did She said that. it. That's what I was saying. She was in the men's prison. Would she's like, "Can you? when are you going to get me out of the men's prison? She's like, well, they'll put you somewhere separate. Would you rather be in the men's room or the women's or gender fluid? The men's. Real, why? I want to get fucked. <laughs> Let's go. I want some dikey clamps putting her slug across my face. <laughs> the fuck out of here. Oh, some no. dikey clam putting no her clam. slug across. Now that's a quote and card you can for the episode. <laughs> yes. Do you know what I mean? I don't mean no, no disrespect to content Kim, but it's like, <laughs> I don't want to go near that thing. <laughs> now, she did time in Oklahoma, okay? Now, back in the 80s, it was different. <laughs> you could go to prison and not be gay for pay. Well, she, she got upset because she was in, in uh, an inter integrated cell with, a, yeah. with colored people. <laughs> well, the she, thing she, about Kim is she has a history. Yeah. <laughs> now, that history now, she is hasn't, she, she hasn't swam in an integrated swimming pool since the 60s. <laughs> Now that photo, believe it or not, of the man with the acid, that was that was Joe back in the day. Oh, Kimmy Kim Kim. Oh, Our sweet, sweet Kim. Mm -hmm. Anywho, that's it for today. <laughs> Um, Speaking of Joe, uh, Joe Biden's grandson's our best friend. What are you Is talking he? about? <laughs> oh, yes. We met him at SNL and he was like, I'm a huge fan of you guys. Oh, and my like, God. What the fuck? Tell us about that experience. How was it? You ended up at the after after party. Oh, oh my God. Was that so after cool. your rehab relapse? That was after. Well, so I said to the person who Ooh. got us the tickets, I said, well, Ooh. it would have been a damn shame that um, you can get you could have got me these tickets the whole time and I would have killed myself without going. Yeah. yeah. And he said, OK, I'm, I'm on it. <laughs> so if you don't know, Grace and Brie went to. Um, to SNL and they saw Aubrey Plaza and Sam Smith and Kim Petras. Mm -hmm. They were headlining the show and then they went to the after party and the after after party. Mm -hmm. Now, could you give us some inside tea? At the after party, um, Does it, who goes to this? Is, is, is like, is like Madonna, Madonna, was there. Madonna was there? Michaels? Madonna was there? Madonna was there. Yeah. What? I, Madonna was there. Did you see yeah. her? You see her? She, she got a picture yeah. with Kim Petras and kind of did. looking. She's nuts. Where was the after party? Nuts. At? Um, the first one was at um, some Rosie's Cantina or something. I was gonna say some margarita joint. <laughs> <laughs> it was not like some cantina. Fuck, I forget what it was called. Um, uh, Rosa's Rosa Rosie's Cantina. Yeah, um, Rosa Mexicana. Yeah. Rosa, Rosa Mexicana. It was at Taco was it really Bell Rosa Mexicana. Yeah. yeah, it was the one. Uh, yeah. like by Park Ave. And oh, everyone yeah, yeah. was there. It was crazy. Everyone was there. Like fucking oh. Lawrence Michaels there. Yeah. On the on like Ninth Avenue, Center, like yeah, Lincoln Center. yeah, Lincoln it was like Center. near here, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it was fucking crazy. Madonna, Lauren Michaels, Aubrey Plaza, fucking um, Nikki, what's her name? Glazer. Oh, um, no, uh, <laughs> fuck. Natasha Leone. Natasha Leone. <laughs> she was yeah. there. Her yeah. new show is fucking fire. It is so good. Oh my god, poker, best show yes. ever. Poker face, mm -hmm. so good. Best <laughs> show ever. It really. So is. what what happened when you met Hunter Biden's grandson? Like, how did that happen? So he brought on the convo to us. Yeah. Hunter Biden's son. I heard yeah. them chit chat, and they were sitting in like the aisle. And I'm like, who are these little teeny boppers? And like, they were like vaping and shit. And like. At SNL. At SNL. And I'm like, how are they allowed to do this? Like, if I did that, I would get kicked out. Like, who is, who are these people? And the lights come on. 
He goes, hey, uh, Brianna Grace, uh, my name's Hunter. Hunter Biden, my grandfather's the president. Big fan. What? <laughs> because Joe Biden had a cameo on SNL that night. So uh, he was he got invited and was there. And he, he went to the after party, too. And he was Joe like Biden? 17. I wish. No, oh, Hunter. No, the, what's his name? The kid's name? Hunter. His father's son. Everyone thinks we're talking about crazy Hunter Biden. Is this no. Hunter's son? Hunter? Bo's no, son, not. right? Bo's son. Yeah. Bo's son, yeah. Hunter. Smash or pass? Oh, he's 17. too young. Joey, smash or pass? <laughs> I plead the fifth. <laughs> I always do plead. Now he's trying to catch me. But we talked about it on our podcast, and then we had a, we had a clip that went out, and I was like, "Yeah, that kid was vaping. He's like seventeen. He's the president's grandson, and it was going viral. Really? And I was like, "Pull that! I do not want to be on Fox News. Thank you very much." <laughs> you go. Well, wait until you see the clip of him doing with Madonna the, the, the after are there any drinks at the actual show or no no one well, you one. get one you get one everyone does just waiting. VIPs um, everyone in the waiting room so you go into a waiting room first and you wait even there for the, like even like the commerce that waited slept on, outside on the ground just get in yeah oh mm-hmm. really so you go into the waiting room waiting room and I you have to be turn. called I have, to, I have a favor to call in from the same source mm. I, oh, cut, yeah. I cut the source's hair many times and he said you know what let me know whenever you want to go and I after I saw how the experience that you guys had I was, it was like, so fun I gotta call wait I want to so, so hear so you walk into the waiting room and then mm-hmm. what so we were there for like we were in the waiting room what two hours yeah they give you you don't have to go early but we were told to go early and I didn't want to miss it. Yeah. That, that was my that was my one my one bucket list dream. It was my make a wish if I ever had cancer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So and they give you one drink, so we get one beer, just enough to piss you off. Yeah, literally yeah. one drink. I then know. they they tell you like to sit in the middle, the left, so they like direct you where to go, and then you just wait to get a letter called, and then they bring you. You don't know where you're gonna sit, and then Do you have to make sure you sit next to your girlfriend or no? Yeah, but if you get separated, then you won't sit together, and they won't switch your seats. Oh, yeah. so if you if you if when they call the numbers, if you're not sitting they help with each other right, right then. Yeah. Oh. And, and then there's said, like 50 people that win the lottery, but they don't even get real seats. There's like a big couch section in the back. And then if you get fucked and you're last, you sit on that. Yeah, Damn. so it's like really hard to win that lottery. I've been writing in since I was 16. And the reason I did, never got it is because they only get 50 people. And then the rest are just oh, the like audience is only of, 50 people. Friends of the. It was program. like 175, but like a lot of the people are in, so it's like not the lottery winning. So like the lottery winning. But who's invited to this party? Yeah. The audience isn't invited to this party. No, you have to know someone yeah. to get invited to the party. So that's how they. Got the and then one? the after party, you need a um, secret password to get in. How yeah. you get the, after? So after you're party. not you're not guaranteed for the after after party if you're the yes. regular party. Yes, so you well, are. Or you're not. You're not. You, you need the password. How did you get the password? Did you, you get to go to the party see if you're cool enough at that party? No, we got the connects before we went. So you had that. You knew you were going to both. Yes, we yeah. knew. What was the password? Um, Flying Lotus. Oh. My, I went back in the day. Mine was Rita Leeds. Rita Leeds. Yeah. At, what's that? Did it have anything to do with the show? I don't know. Because they did a Black did. Lotus thing. Mine was yeah. OJ did it. That's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I don't know what it was. It's some like Boston bar. <laughs> mine was OJ did it. <laughs> so believe it or not, mine was Trump is. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's very funny. Yeah, it was crazy. The after after party was insane because everyone it was like free 6 drinks for everyone. No, they used to buy your I own left drinks? my card yeah. there. Wait, <laughs> you they, they don't give you drinks at the after party? Mm-mm. Not even the cast. Even Sam Smith was buying his own drinks. Sam Smith was just at the bar buying his own drinks. It was crazy. Wait a second. I know, crazy. Why would they have the so we're in a recession? Have to pay for own drinks? <sighs> yeah. Oh, off, she can off, afford it. I don't it. know. <laughs> but yeah, everyone was going up to the bar and buying their own drinks. Are you sure? Positive. Positive. How how late? Who was like the biggest celebrity who you saw latest? Madonna. The whole cast Aubrey was Pazza there. Until there. like 6 a.m.? Till 6 a.m. We fucking left at Agent, Agent Spencer Reed. You guys know him? No. From Criminal Minds? Yes. Yes, he was there. We left like right as he left at mm-hmm. 7 in the morning. I what about photo? Him. Can you take photos at the after parties or no? <laughs> yeah. I got, I got, I got the balls to finally ask at six a.m. for a picture with Aubrey Plaza. I think I was waking up. I was clicking. I was like, "Oh, Breeze at an after." I said, uh, "I would totally kill myself next week if I didn't get a picture with you." It was so fucking terrible. I was word vomiting. Like, girl, you know how it is in the biz. Yeah, she's like, she's like, don't, don't kill yourself, please. I'm like, oh, I can just take the fucking picture. She thought she had blood on her hands. She goes, "Yeah, that's cool." I was like, she can't say no to this. Yeah. Did you both look disgusting? Yes, it's bad. It's like six a.m. Yeah, we look like we're related. Is Grace on the floor in the background sleeping? No. Yeah. Yes, yeah, she, she did oh, no cocaine that night. I know you were. I know I'm 47 days clean. Of, by the way, 47 days. 47 days. Oh, good for you. It, it doesn't right. deserve a clap. Oh, she always 47. Yeah, look at her eyes. But I've been doing ketamine pretty. and Molly, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, Does she wear the same thing the whole time? She she just had a t shirt on. She wore a t shirt to the after party. Like it's a rock it's a cute star. Photo, yeah, it's cute. I have my little arm around her. I was like, <laughs> yeah, oh, sister, it's whatever. You guys look like sisters. I know. It was fun. It was cool. You too. Um, should I? 
speaking of drinking and partying, we have like a vague tease. I told us we could do upstairs. There's something happening in Boston for the Southie St. Patty's Day Parade. Yes. Potentially. I don't know if you guys can like leak a little bit of that. I don't know what we you can say You can't say the sponsor. Yet, but mm-hmm. um what is this parade about? But get your fucking drinking shoes ready, dude. Yes, we're, we're going we're to Boston. Going. We're shipping out, baby. It's like full circle. We're going, we're going to be back. We're going to be at that fucking yeah. parade. Yeah. We're Where all are we going? going. We're all going. St. Patrick's Day parade in Boston, which is a very, very big deal. That's for where Boston I'm going to go there too? Yes. Yeah. Can I yes. wear this? Sure. No, it, you have to wear green. My mother. Go burn. And you have to wear um, a pirate suit for reasons I can't disclose. I know Ooh, why. I want to wear a green mm-hmm. tracksuit like you guys did. Mm. Yes. Is that yeah. like your walkout no. crew? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I was kind of jealous. Was that was sponsoring your show that time? Um, oh, that was Southern Comfort. Southern Comfort. I, was, I thought it was, I was like, everyone's got a little he captain goes, in them. everyone's got a little captain That's in them. That's the most like, like college <laughs> drink ever, Southern Comfort. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It crushed in college, honestly. It, it did. How come yeah. I don't, I'm always so the last to know. shots. Well, you know. Yeah. Thank you, Sandra. Thank you. Uh, no, it's going to be so, I think it's going to be awesome. I'll say this. Quack, quack, You're quack. Love it. Oh, that's yeah, my, there you go. That's yeah. the hint. Quack, uh-huh. quack, 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 quack. Oh. You're going to love it, Joey. We're smoking, we're no smoking quack. We're yes, s- we're smoking quack, quack, quack. quack. Uh-huh. Tier one quack, though. Now the, now, the quack will be tier one. <laughs> now it will be in a, a chicken wing competition. <laughs> that's what the duck comes in. <laughs> it's going to be so fucking fun. I'm so yeah, excited no, it's for so that. Sick. We have a lot of good oh, I am. You guys have a little bit of a funny, like uh, not a funny, but like a fun thing. Can you NASCAR? say anything about it? NASCAR in the parade realm. <gasps> oh, oh, do we? We were invited. Oh, are we going to LA for Pride? <laughs> yes. yes, with we you are? guys. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's us for it. <laughs> Yeah. Isn't that going to be awesome? It's going to be yeah. so much more in LA. Make sure that, no, because they, they'll tell them lowball us. Make sure you just say you want an Air, an Air, a sick Airbnb with a pool. Okay. Not even kidding. Okay. Yeah, I'll score I don't, in an just Airbnb. Just make you the headliner so the ads get, so the ad. And then we can. Are you gay? <laughs> yes. Well, I look gay. Um, <laughs> it, but then we can make, we could just sell it as that we need to make a bunch of vlogs together. No, I want, can we get an Airbnb? Yes. I don't want to stay in a hotel. I want an Airbnb with a pool. Yeah. Thank the you. priorities, we I can cannot. Try. The priorities. <laughs> yes. I doubt we Anyways. can leave that in. Just yeah. Yeah. Yes, but, yeah. that's from, very true. Anyways, um, do a great thing for the gays. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Let's just say we have a lot of important appearances that have made very exciting. Yeah, it's, it's a lot true of true test of our sobriety. Mm-hmm. Oh, we'll say that much. <laughs> oh, oh, we're all yes. sober. <laughs> we, can, we can leave in LA Pride, Marty. Definitely. Okay. Yeah, we can yeah. definitely leave that in. That's like a thing we're doing, I think. Yeah. yeah. LA Pride, New York Pride. Um, oh, in New York? That's awesome. New York. Uh, Beng- Bangladesh Pride we're doing. I was going to say Texas. Sudan Pride. I was going to say Sudan Afghanistan. Pride. Yeah. Guitar Pride. <laughs> we're doing Alabama uh, Pride. Alabama Pride. We're doing it all. I think it's going to be fun. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, do you guys want to do listener questions? Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yes. Ooh. I, I wrote in yesterday. Joey wrote in yesterday. Do you oh, want yeah. to kick off with your question? Mm. Can I read it? I didn't write it down. Oh, you didn't? You put it in our group chat. Are those real oh, yeah, glasses? You put it in the group chat. Yeah. I can't see a thing. He can't yeah. see shit. Oh, it's no. not that. It's, it's not all the, the pale. No, you remember what it well, was. The sun's though. out today, and it's been so wintry. I can't see yeah. with my blue eyes. Ouch! I, I was. I was walking around and like, ouch. Okay, so I, I wouldn't get it. I'm writing it right here, Joey. Your question was. I remember, but I want to get. I want to end quote. Black guy. <laughs> oh, that says Noah Beck gay. Sorry. Okay. Not sexy. Here we go. <laughs> that was not what I said. Yes, it was. Yes, sir. I said. <laughs> he, I said the last word is not the same. Yeah. It's who has the. No, no. <laughs> okay, this was written in from a, um, some from Josh Richards. It says, <laughs> "Out of the two of you girls, who has the wider pussy hole?" I mean, she, uh, hot dog hallway. Yeah, uh, she gets fourth- says it any chance she can <laughs> say. She is the loosest goosey here. That was actually from Ebony at the front desk. Oh, yes. that was from Ebony <laughs> at the front. Oh, we need to read Ebony. our Black History quote uh, from Ebony. Oh, Do you want me to slide that in really in? quick? I have it here. <laughs> yeah, it was out. Uh, you can read it. Read it. it was, <laughs> this is from this. Ebony. It's when I text this lotion bottle emoji, it means beat yo dick because I'm not coming. That's your Black Hell History. Hell fucking yes. a prominent She's Black author. Um, here's one from at Hanny is right. Are your accents exaggerated? I was offended by that question. <sighs> do, do you guys get all shit for your accents ever? We don't, but I can see. I, I can see why people who people we do our southern don't. accent, but yeah. we don't really have a southern accent. You girls actually are from Boston. Yeah, yeah, but it it's, only comes out in certain situations. So people are like, "You're faking it," and then I don't talk like that on BFFs. It's, it's a self conscious thing. I'm, I'm doing the accent because I don't. I'm not very confident in what I'm already saying. Now, yeah. I will. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. See, like it's, it's, a, a, it's a, a mask. Front. It's a mask. Yeah. And, and then it's when we're together, it comes out more. It's more funny. Yeah, exactly. but like if you've been out with me when I'm drunk, I'm. These are good questions. Oh, yeah. Give me Back one vodka Red Bull. I'm talking like a fucking selfie <laughs> cocksucker. Okay, your next one. Do you want to read the next one? Um, one? Yeah. One influencer you want to punch in the face. That's from at Morgan Gomez. And you can't say Joey and I. Yeah. Oh, Logan Paul. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Any Ooh, reason why? Easy out. 
he's just a cuck. <laughs> he's such a fucking I love the cuck. I, yeah, I hate him. You hate Logan Paul. He's a cuck. Yeah, okay. he's a cuck. He's just this a next bag. question is: um, Are you ever? Got, are you guys? I'm not reading that one. No, that's the good one. <laughs> Why? Because that's what all they talk about on their show. Oh, it is. Yeah, I know what right. it means. What are you about? Would you like to visit India? Oh, oh yes. yes. What does that mean? All India. the time. Mm-hmm. We're gonna go. We're soon. gonna hopefully and. We're going to submerge ourselves. New Delhi? Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. it's going to be a tour. That's what we're doing our next tour at. Yes. In India? Yes. Are you really? going to be Bollywood stars. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. interesting. Um, are you guys ever going to leash the beast? Never. No. What is that? That's the one I thought you were going to ask. Mm-hmm. Yes. So we just go by the motto. You can never leash your beast. You have to keep it unleashed. Mm-hmm. So if you oh. have an inner beast and you're wild like Nana, you never want to leash Nana, right? No. You want to keep Nana unleashed. <laughs> I can't be tamed. Yes, yes exactly. So you would, never, you would never leash your Nana. Ooh. Stay beast. So we'll never leash our beast. Ooh, this is from Brooke <laughs> Ke- 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 Kegel. Yes. Brooke Ke- Kegel. <laughs> Brooke Kegel. Top five hottest guys at Barstool. Doesn't have to be collectively. We'll oh. take Pat, Joey, mm-hmm. Marty. 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 <laughs> There's three. Mm-hmm. Sandra. Um, four. Sandra, how do you identify? <laughs> yeah. She, That's they, cool. him. <laughs> no, for real. You, can we say that or no? Yeah, you can say whoever you want. I know yeah. who mine are. Who are yours? And I'll, I'll let we you know, know if I agree with anyone. <laughs> 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 do you say this every episode? <laughs> no, I don't say it every episode. And the top one's changed, but it's still, and it's, this has nothing to do with the conversation we had earlier. <laughs> My number one is still to this day. Snapchat Steve. No. Billy Football. <laughs> no. Fastuli. You guys are all wrong. Who's my number one? Big it cat. changes every Justin day. Justin Mancini's my number one. Justin oh, Mancini. Oh, it's always been his number yeah. one. It's always been number one. Justin Mancini, Snapchat Steve, um, Chef Donnie, Billy Football, and Meek Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He is. He's got a, he's got a, a quiet <laughs> dumper on him. No, whatever. I saw it the other day. I almost, I almost fainted. Oh, my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm... Am I lying? No, they clipped it in our Dropbox folder and like put up the whole. It's him for five minutes talking about Meek Phil's ass. Oh my oh god. god! Now she will get boned. I want to see Meek Phil's. Well, we ass. don't have HR anymore, do we? Because he no. made a list it's like this. Suggested. <laughs> it's suggested. It's suggested. Wait, okay, favorite bar. No, I didn't even answer. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Sorry. Hottest. Hottest five guys. The room. We'll say, stick with the say room. Say yours, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> Go to it's, it's too real. It's, it's too real. real. I feel like we, do, we do this all the time. Yeah. We, we have I can never five. read these Wait, people's things. You have your top five, but we you do this all the time. We do it like every stop on tour. And if there's a Should new character. Should we just character? say one? Yes. Mm-hmm. We have a conjoined one. Yes. Feidelberg. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. John? But we just love him. He's awesome. He's lovable. Yeah. Okay. You're going to give us one more now. You know we don't. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, what the fuck, you guys? No, we don't. Right, you thought about it. I did. I was <laughs> like, yeah. screw you. What's the next one? You, um, you want me to read the next one? All right. Uh, let's Still see. Sleep over. Oh God. Sharing secrets Skip with the that one. Go to the tips. Next one. Yeah, let's do. Uh, this is kind of tips on dating after taking a year plus off. This is from Nicole Trace. I got this. She one. just started up again. <laughs> no. Oh, I did. Yeah. I was you, pretending. I went on. I went on two dates with one boy. Did you have sex though? Mm, whiskey dick finger sex what about the next morning or he left before then he stayed over and woke me up and said goodbye and I said why did you do that (laughs) then did he have to now she was so distraught that he woke up I was like why did you wake me up (laughs) because he he was going back to do his back to the Uber where he he works well (laughs) was he he your Uber driver no I hired him oh that's what it was Mm -hmm. yeah so his pimp came and got him (laughs) how did you how did you meet him it was a woman (laughs) (laughs) how did you meet him um <laughs> he replied to Brianna's story of uh, she needs a boyfriend. Oh, how fun! <laughs> well, yes, Good. she she always she's always comes on dates with me and my boyfriend because we're like um, a throuple. Yes, yes. <laughs> and she was like, I really want someone to go on double dates, so I posted on my story, "Who wants to da- double date with us?" And then he replied, "Did he come?" He, no, he went. She didn't want me to meet him first. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Want she to. wanted to like screen him, and then okay. I never got to the meeting situation <laughs> because I yeah. You bagged him. Didn't want him to meet him. <laughs> she she ended that. it the other day. I ended it the other Why? day. I was going to ghost him, but I decided that's mean. You're going to have to see him in the office every day. I yeah. know. <laughs> Spider, please enter the room. <laughs> um, do you, you have any not like. The father. T- <laughs> so there's no really. I mean, there's not really any tips for like. You just got to get out. You just got to get back right? on the Yeah, course. you just get Literally. drunk and do it. Yeah, get drunk. Mm-hmm. Favorite bar in New York City. That's from the real Choppa. 
<laughs> oh, an elite chopper? Uh, Sucker Punch Sports Bar. I was just going to say, gonna is, say that Noah, thing. is that Noah's like fake username? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, so Sucker Punch Sports Bar is one of my favorites. And <laughs> What's I about 36 and 3rd? Something like that? 26, 26 and 3rd. 26 and 3rd. Yep. It actually is a lot of fun. I like yeah. Factory 308. 380. Yeah, Factory 380 That one's fun, too. Do you know they're connected to um, the Barstool Bars? I never knew that. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? oh, no, no, not Factory 380. Um, um, Common Bowery. Bowery. Yeah, 310 Bowery. 310 Bowery. too many numbers. They have like the same, same yes. like, a partnership owners or something. Yeah, for I, the did, yeah. I didn't know that. Partnering, yeah. That place is fun. Sucker Punch is like a dark fun. hole. Mm-hmm. Like oh, it once is. Once you're in there, it's, it's like. It's a vortex. Mm-hmm. I went there. I That's told how it's Zach, designed, dear. <laughs> I told Zach I was going there. He goes, no, you're not. I was like, I just want to stop by for one. You don't stop by. Next thing you know, it's 5 a.m. I'm uh-huh. in the, yep. Now I'm in the freezer downstairs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Been in that freezer too many just, times. Yeah. <laughs> well, the difference is I'm, I'm 38 years old. <laughs> okay. So I'm trying to keep up with the young kids. <laughs> oh, it's tough. I go right here, dear. Okay. Come on. Scoop her out. Yeah, oh, last Christ. time I was in there, I done kicked the owner in the balls. Oh. <laughs> then I checked myself into rehab. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, there we go. Mm-hmm. That will happen. Um, <laughs> I think the last see. question is the last question. Yeah. Go ahead, Joey. Let it. Have either of you made out with uh, or fucked Josh? No. I've made out with oh, Josh. Oh, you make out with Josh all the time. Every yeah. time. Have you? Really? No That's- way. Everyone no, we just I smooch. It's like a it's a going bit. Like if I do this, you have to smooch me. Like when I won my fight, he had to smooch me. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's like a bit. Grace does. She's like, tell me because I need me. a kiss. Me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, go kiss Grace. They're like, okay. You go, no, 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 not those lips. Does Josh <laughs> have a girlfriend? Does he date? Does he date a Demilio or a Kardashian or a Jenner or anything? Who's he date? Mm-hmm. He doesn't date. He dates everyone. He fucks. Oh, a yeah. fuck boy. He's fucking. He fucks. Josh is a fuck boy. That mother. I don't. Mm, yeah. Not a fuck boy, but he, he fucks. fucks a lot. He fucks a lot. He doesn't see himself himself as a fuck boy. Just. Josh Richards ever um, think like call Dave privately and ask him for advice and they talk man to man or is it always just that kind of like funny banter of them like not like the age the, like the age divide thing I, with them I think it's more funny banter I don't know though maybe they have a weird relationship I've never like seen Josh has a father separate. so he does I don't yeah. think he has to call daddy Dave <laughs> yeah that's oh, true that's just me then mm. okay. yeah <laughs> then Joey will call him up when he gets he never lonely. answers me, <laughs> me when's the last time you talked to Dave we miss him um, yesterday. I talked to him yesterday? the other day here. Oh, you do a show with him. Yeah. Duh. Mm-hmm. BFFs. I, we were supposed to go on a play date, but he didn't show up. Oh. He loves you guys. We were going to oh, go good. to the trampoline mm-hmm. park. Good. I'm glad he does. <laughs> mm-hmm. So we're going to be at LA Pride with you guys. Mm-hmm. We're going to be, Can we're actually going to start our own. We're going to be in the freezer <laughs> at Sucker Punch Sports Bar on Friday. Yes. <laughs> and we oh. are starting our own spring break college tour. We're taking <laughs> over the girls. <laughs> yeah. Believe yeah. it or not. Legacy. <laughs> now we, we've we had it. that we're leveling up, if you <laughs> yes. will. So we'll be at Auburn. Um, on <laughs> we, uh, oh, both of you were coupled up, but I'm throwing a fuck Valentine's Day party oh, on Valentine's Day. Where? Um, Location to be determined, either Sucker Punch or a Hotel Chantel. Oh, Hotel Chantel's Fine. nice. Yeah, Sucker Punch is both nice. But for, I mean, bring your well, my boyfriend said that my boyfriend said he thought Valentine's Day was like a joke that for um, people on the verge of divorce, um, for just a night to go out, eat shitty food and fuck. Yeah, it kind of is. Yeah, Valentine's Day is a sad, sad thing. Yeah, it's Ebony like weird. I had a good quote the what other day. Was it? She said, "Don't, don't you, don't you lay masses. Go get a hotel room to do the same three positions you do mm-hmm. regularly." <laughs> Our <laughs> favorite <laughs> black author, mm-hmm. another prominent black author, <laughs> another prominent black author. <laughs> Ebony. Mm-hmm. I love Ebony. Ebony's OnlyFans. She's throwing that thing back. Oh, no, she quit. Oh. She did? Because she, she found out she had to pay taxes. <laughs> Oh, she did. She goes, uh-uh, fun. those motherfuckers trying to take my tax dollars. Get the fuck out of here. She's like, if you want, if you want to see my pussy, you just DM me right away and I'll show it to you. Black <laughs> Venmo. From Black History Month. Yeah. That's on no, She's a businesswoman. Yes, yeah, she is. Always has been. Mm-hmm. Um, well, thank you guys so much for coming on. Yes. Thanks, for having, Thanks us. for having us. It's been fun. You're the, the best part like. of my week. <laughs> except for I got a new doctor's appointment tomorrow. Yeah. I'm getting all new pills. It's oh my great. gosh, how many more can you get? <laughs> I know. I want to take I want to get Cialis this time. You should um, see Joey carry around viral. like a big bag of yes, If you ever need anything, Nana's got gotcha. you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a collector. You take him the uh, sleeping pills, yes. It was nice. <laughs> oh, the sleeping pills. I need yeah. more of those. Yes. Are you give handfuls of those in Nashville? I still yeah, have a handful left. Them when I really need a sleeping pill, I'll take it. <laughs> Shelly goes on Antiques Roadshow with pills he finds. <laughs> now, this here was from the Civil War era. <laughs> yeah. And you can see the inscri- in- inscription on here. <laughs> oh, do you have um the, the ones from... Wolf of Wall Street. I've always wanted to try Quaaludes. Those. Quaaludes. No, 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 no. Okay. My dad gave me the drug talk. The only thing he said was, don't be taking Quaaludes. <laughs> no black beauties. I go, dad, it's 2009. <laughs> there are none. You can They're check them the out on the Anchor app. They're starting their new podcast called Plan Brie Uncut. Um, and make sure <laughs> to start following their Instagrams. Why don't you plug your Instagrams? Do you have socials? Yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh huh. I have loose. Pussy. It's Joey Camasta. Yes. Joey and Camasta. At Barstool, Br- uh, Barstool Pat. Barstool Pat. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm Enjoy Camasta. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But thank you for joining us. We love you and have a good night.
Bye, guys. Bye.